Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen and it is the penultimate episode. It's Scottish Cup final day, hence the suit. There's a suit but there's no bootlegger impressions this time unlike the Betfred Cup. And my spidey senses tell me this one's gonna get fucking tasty baby. But despite the fact there's no bootlegger impressions, there is still a chance to win another trophy and to take another step towards a treble. Great chance, Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break and Hewitt waiting in the middle. Oh! Quickly, before we get into the things, I run you through the team. We played two games since you last saw in the league. They didn't matter. We'd already won it. But we're on good form. We beat Motherwell 3-0. Gave some of the lads who's not usually played uh, some game time. Emmanuel scored. Edmondson scored. And a contest to Penn. Then we drew 1-1 with Rangers. It was fine. Dean, Co- Dean Campbell. What? Then we drew 1-1 with Rangers. It was fine. Dean Campbell scored an absolute corker. But they equalised. Still on good form, though. And that does mean that we finished eight points ahead of Celtic in the league. What a win that was. It's the last dance, baby. We even got the three-peat. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, yeah. I was very scared that wasn't going to happen. Just in case, because then it would have ruined the whole gimmick. But on to the more important matters. The team to face Queen's Park in the Scottish Cup final is Montipo. Aaron Hickey's at right back, Felipe Cruz is suspended, and Aaron Hickey's probably a better option than Josh Emmanuel. Porteous comes in, you might think, why not playing Miazgar Figal? Figal punched the ball, and Porteous, well, he's going to have to play in the Euro Cup final, Europa League final, because uh, Miazgar's not registered, and I don't trust Figal anymore. McKenna's alongside him, and Jonathan is back, fit and ready to go. Thank God for the final. They're not only this final, but... The Europa League one as well, because Hickey suspended. If you remember, he got sent off against Wolfsburg. Uh, McCrory's come in with Ferguson in the middle of the park. Conta Sau and Fraser on the wings with Proper ahead of them. Nope, ahead of midfielders. I'm absolutely all over the shop. I'm a nervous wreck. And Armando's leading the line. Here, hopefully, he can settle my nerves, let's be honest. I've already stumbled about four times. I had to record the intro a hundred times. It was an absolute nightmare. The bench, though, is Maishido, the ginger legend, Dean Campbell, the Bass General, Bardi Key, Abu Francis and Edmondson. It's a strong bench. Let's see the Queen's Park team. The Queen's Park team is this. Sneddon, Brown, Phillips, Kerr, a regen, Ritchie, Duncan Watmore, formerly of Sunderland and Hibbs, Williamson, Ali, Coote, he played for Brentford at some point, Ian Savage, I'm guessing his name's Ian, it is Ian, Quinn and Michael Zangana, a former Aberdeen youth product. Their player of the season, however, was Rob Lewis. He was on loan from us, but he can't play against his parent club. I'm a genius, essentially. Bullshit. They're in League One, we're in the Premiership, we're heavy favourites, we have to win it. Anything but that is completely unacceptable. We have kicked off at Hamden, we're on extended highlights, and there's a highlight immediately. We're at playing at Hamden, obviously that's where Queen's Park play their home games in real life right now. That wasn't even a highlight, but enjoy that little fact. Okay, 13 minutes in, Sneddon has collected a cross. Are we about to see a Queen's Park highlight? They go along, what more does not get there, and Jonathan had cut it out. It's now down the line with Ryan Fraser, who fires it in, and Hickey smashes it over the bar. Shite! I know I told him to get the champagne in the last goal, but uh, last game, but come on, that's a bit harsh going to the bar this early on. But we've got a corner. You get it? Oh, over the bar, going to the bar. Yep, it was terrible. Contessau puts his corner in. Ferguson should have done better. It was a volley from the edge of the area. I don't know why I'm saying should have done better. It's highlight central here. I shouldn't have put it on extended, but I should have because the video would have been about five minutes long otherwise. We're not having that. Jonathan puts it in, and we're 1-0 up. Contessau, I'm not that excited because it's against Queen's Park, but it's a trophy at the end of the day. If we win it, that's two trophies. We aim in for three this season. I just said we aiming and not we're aiming, but we are aiming for three. I was thought it was going to be the Betfred Cup as well, but it wasn't. So we're in with a chance of winning the Europa League as well as these two. We're 1-0 up and we're in with a chance. I don't know why I'm saying we're in with a chance and these two. If we've already won it and, you know, oh, I'm just a shambles. Honestly, just send help. Hickey has put it into Consus out. I don't know why I'm absolutely all over the shop today, and I'm sorry. Fraser, great save by Sneddon. Got to give it to the lad. A Jonathan throw-in goes forward to Little Dirky Proper. I said when we signed him, 
He won't be around for long. He'll be too good for us. But we've grown with Dirk Proper and we are up on his level. He's one of us now. He bleeds red. Everyone bleeds red. But he, he breeds... He doesn't breed. He's 23. Um, he's he's firmly got his feet on the ground. I honestly am an absolute wreck. I don't know what the heck's going on. I just need to calm down. Uh, what the hell was that, Armando, mate? 11, 13 million quid, whatever it was. For that, absolutely dreadful. Jonathan cut it out, though, and it's back with him. He gets a second chance. Um, I'm so glad he's back. Otherwise, we'd had Josh Emmanuel possibly at left back. We've gone 2 0 up uh, for the final bit for the Europa League, I mean. Call to side with another goal. 21st. He now matches Armando as top goal scorer. And assist for Ryan Fraser. I thought Ryan Fraser was going to be like the third choice you could fill in on either wings, even though we paid 18 million for him. But he's ahead of Bardi Key. Uh, what a goal that is. I say ahead as if there's any chance Bardi Key's working his way back in his side. There's not. There's one game to go after this. We're up 2 0, though, and I am delighted. Call to side got another free kick shoot from there mate you, you don't uh, Ryan Fraser though collects it the little man he's a very little man he's only 5 foot 4 Portis go on Porto if Porto gets, in, gets on the score sheet we're having a party Contessao and uh, Ryan Fraser's offside never mind I got really excited I don't know why we'd have been 3-0 um, we've won the game it's won we're winning it I'm telling you we're winning it just you watch uh, Jonathan throws it on to Ferguson that's what they usually do at Thrones isn't it We've got another chance though. This will be a game which we will put on Dean Campbell and the Bass General. Dean Campbell's not registered for the Europa League, so he can't be involved in the final, which is a bit sad. Especially after he's come in and got a couple good and important goals lately. But, uh, you know, you live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. Cause I've had a shot saved, though. Wow. And there we have it, folks. It's 2-0. We're absolutely all over them at half time. Not a shot from them at all, let alone on target. This is a massive anti-climax. And yet, still, I'm fumbling over my words like an absolute nervous wreck. What is wrong with me? Ferguson on the ball in the middle of the park. Yeah, I'm sorry if I don't seem too energetic or up for this one. It's just I find it hard to get up for a Queen's Park Scottish Cup final. Um, I will be a very different form come the Benfica game. I'll be a nervous wreck, but I'll be buzzing. I'll be well up for that one. Um, and it's with Hickey now with a throw in. Dark proper. All the way back to Hickey. Fire it in, mate. He does. Armando heads over. Armando. To be fair, I've slandered Armando quite a lot, but he has turned out to be Armando. <laughs> get it like he's our man do you idiot oh, I'm an idiot <laughs> this is great banter it really is anyway let's get the bass general on let's have a party he is on and da -da 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 -da. that's what we'll do for now go on the basky boy oh, I hope he scores he's a nice man he's just been here for a long time don't know how he ended up at us at all because he's like a regen who's 28 years old now and we're only in 2025 so I don't know how that's worked out but here he is on the right hand side that's rubbish he's given stead in confidence again so he's just a nice man an all round nice man with 10 minutes to go as promised Dean Campbell comes on as well and so does Ryan Edmondson he's been with us a long time it's nice to get him involved today obviously he's scored against Mother as Motherwell as well is your mother well? I hope she is. Let me know in the comments down below. And the Bass General's got a chance to break away very, very late on. Come on, the Bass General. Please, please score. You deserve it, mate. He doesn't. He does deserve it, but he doesn't score is what I was trying to say. Hickey, though. He cut it out. It's now with McCrory. Let's get another goal. Let's put a little bit of a wrapping on the present. Straight at Snedden. Uh, he's taking a tip out of the... Uh, Bass General book and just being really nice and giving him a chance to boost his confidence. How lovely are we? Um, another goal though. That would be nice just to really stab them. Twist the knife. That's what I was going to say. Twist it. Um, I don't know why I got so aggressive there. It's only Queen's Park. It's, they're, they're not our rivals or anything. They're in League One. Um, you might see more of them on Twitch. When Football Manager 2021 comes out, let me know if you'd like to see that. They're now not a professional. Eh, they're not now. They're now a professional club and not just an amateur club. So it might be something I delve into. You know, see if I can bring them up the leads and top league and topple the Glasgow teams there. There, obviously, the first challenge would be toppling Partick Thistle, but they suck. So it probably wouldn't be that hard. Here's Ryan Fraser though. He puts it in and dark proper. How fitting. He's been amazing throughout this series. He scored in the Scottish Cup final. Here's hoping he can carry that on and get one in the Europa League final as well. And add the cherry on top of this lovely, lovely cake. It's just a shame I put a cherry on it. I don't even like cherries. It's ruined the cake. Uh, it was a great goal from Dirk Proper, though, so I'm happy. And there we go. We're late in added time. There's a late, late, late highlight. Will we see another goal? 
No, we won't. It's going to be a goal kick, and that will be it. We will be declared champions of the Scottish Cup, and there we are. I've actually got it alongside me this time. Look at us go. Look, I'm happy. They're happy. We're all bloody well happy, aren't we? Oh, I've hit the mic on that happy. Ha, 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 ha. I've lost it. Please send help. We limited Queen's Park to just one shot. I'm sorry that this was anticlimactic, but you know, you can only beat what's in front of you, and we knocked a couple good teams out along the way. It's deserved. Thank you very much. This suit has served me well. They've also actually got my name spelt right on this trophy, so I'm much, much happier. There we have it, folks. The end of the domestic season. We won the Scottish Premiership. We've won the Scottish Cup. Okay, we didn't win the Betfred Cup, but we got to the final, so that was good. And as you can see, we've won the Scottish Cup three times in four years. In real life, in the 80s, Aberdeen won it four, four times in five years. So, you know, the aim was to emulate the 80s and I think we've done pretty well. And obviously we have a chance, a massive, massive, massive chance to emulate the 80s even further. In the 1980s, in case you didn't know you're not an Aberdeen fan or Scottish football fan perhaps, we won the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1983 against Real Madrid and then we won the Super Cup. We're the only Scottish team with two European trophies. Celtic have won one, Rangers have won one as well. So we have a chance to make that three European trophies and add another star to the beautiful, beautiful Aberdeen badge. If you fancy sticking around for that, please do smash the subscribe button. Hit like if you're excited to see that video and if you're happy with how we've done so far this season. And also hit dislike though if you didn't enjoy the video and comment down below. Let me know why you disliked it. I want to improve and your feedback allows me to do so. Comment down below also if you think we're going to win and get another European trophy. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your support. This is going to be a huge one. Take care.